Welcome to my tiny kitchen. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a cooking show. So I've started refinishing my sister-in-law's serving platter. It was made by... The it's brother. You? Nate. No, Nate. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, it wasn't Tom. Sorry, Tom. Her brother, my brother-in-law, made it for her. Uh, she loves to host. So it's just basic pine. And after giving it a good sand, I realized it's kind of boring. I was looking for some food safe stains to use. And while researching, I came across someone who I already follow that had some great options. So Steve Ramsey on YouTube, Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Definitely go check out his channel. I'll put the link below. Well worth it. Anyway, he has a whole series on not only food safe stains, but also stains made from food. One of them is wine. I figured, oh, that's a lot less than there should be. I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see if it works. Um, I'm going to first try with just wine as it is. And the reason we're in my teeny tiny basement kitchen is because I'm going to try two ways. He suggested maybe reducing it down a little and trying it that way. So we're gonna try that and we're gonna try both ways and see which one works. So come experiment with me and drink some wine. on my little hot plate that, you know, takes a while. Should I stir it, whisk it? Maybe whisk it? I'll get a whisk. Whisk in hand, wine in the other. Uh, we're just gonna drink some wine, hang out, and uh, reduce some boxed wine. Ooh. I think I'm, yep. Boiling wine. Everyone's favorite pastime. Well, now we've got wine to a boil. Maybe I should simmer it? I don't cook. I'll bring it down to a simmer. Whenever it decides that it wants to do that. So while we're still in the kitchen, I figured we will also work on the finish. I got this recipe from Jonathan Katz Moses of Katz Moses Work Woodworking. Also, a great channel to check out. Link will be below. So he makes this finish out of beeswax and mineral oil. So I'm gonna try that finish. It's a totally food safe finish. He swears by it, and we're gonna try to make it. So his recipe is a four to one. If my measurements are correct, one cup and a fourth a cup. I'm not gonna make much more than that because I don't know if it's gonna work yet. So, I've already measured out a cup, I'll be honest. <laughs> and then I made a huge mess on myself. So, we're gonna put a cup of beeswax into a crock pot. This is what he suggested. So we're just gonna go with by the way he said, and once we get it down, maybe we'll experiment. Maybe we won't. All right, well, good enough. And then we're gonna do a four to one ratio. Fourth cup of mineral oil. You can get this at any pharmacy or online. And I ordered this off of Amazon. And I will put the links in the description below. There we go. Now you just turn it on warm and 
hope for the best. So I'm mixing this quick with a wooden spoon my dad made for me. And check out what the mineral oil does for it. It really revitalizes it. Looks like I will be using this on all my wood products from spoons to bowls I've turned in the past. So it is now a liquid. So now we're going to pour it into a mason jar. And uh, we'll let it cool overnight for a couple hours and see how that goes. It's hardened up and it's not soft enough. It just feels like beeswax, as you can see my fingers pushing in on it. So I'm going to melt it again and add a little bit more mineral oil to it. And then I'm going to transfer it into a jar that I can fit my hand into, since this one is all enough hands. So we're gonna start first on the bottom just to test it out, and we're gonna use the regular wine without being reduced. <laughs> Gotta let it dry, but it's very pink. All right, so that's kind of fun. So that is just plain wine. Now we're gonna try the uh, the reduced down wine, if you will. Just using my same rag. Cool down a bit. Let's see what we get. We'll let it dry and do another coat. I wish you guys could feel this. This feels so nice. It's so silky smooth. You should totally try to make your own and try it yourself because it's amazing. So now I just need to refix the lazy season part and put some cheese on it. Now that the cheese platter's done, I need an event to use it with. But first, an outfit. Well, that worked. I wonder if it'll work for this. That worked out pretty well. Now we just need the company to uh, enjoy the food. It's time for girls' night. Oh, how did I get here? Welcome, guys. All right. <laughs> time for some wine. I like it. So, what'd you bring us? Uh, I stopped by Common Vines in downtown Boston and grabbed us a bottle of Picaro. It's a new Ribera del Duero that was suggested by the shop owner. So we're nice. going to try it out for the first time. Love Sweet. It. I'm excited. She is ladies. Let that baby sit. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to have some sisters come stop by and enjoy this with me. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe for more content coming your way. Enjoy, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> you like your new cheese board? That's gorgeous. I may or may not have stained it with box wine. Okay. Well, that <laughs> just ruined the mood. I mean, but <laughs> better than drinking it. That's fair. You I can't. You can't. Some. <laughs> you can't waste a good wine on a cheese board. That's no, fair. Right. That's, I think I'd probably be devastated if it was a good bottle and that's what I figured. It's acceptable. Ended up on the cheese board. But that's I did true. drink some because it was there. I mean, you had to try. <laughs> oh, these are yummy. Mm -hmm. These are okay. garlic and thyme ones. Oh. They're a wee bit stale. <laughs> they were from when we went to Anasquam. <laughs> I figured that. Be a little chef. <laughs> oh god, I can't. It gets me every time. You know, it's hilarious. And a strawberry. Oh, I thank you, madam. <laughs>